I, I think everything went out the window when I saw that, but it was, it was exciting for everyone. I did the same thing. Let's go right here. <laughs> David Hope with TigerNet.com. Coach, I'm sure when, when Graham, you know, offered you the job and you took it, you envisioned something like this. Could you have envisioned it so quickly? And, and then what was going through your mind when you when you saw the, the players dogpile in and, and you're like, wow, first year, ACC title. Yeah. Um, yeah, after seeing seeing the caliber of player in the fall, I, I think we, as a staff, all recognized that this had the potential to be a special group. And, you know, just, just wanted to, um, you know, we knew we needed some adversity to hit to, um, you know, to help our growth because it, it, all championship teams, it's usually, I guess sometimes it's a wire to wire, just, you know, everything's great from start to finish, but we knew we had the physical talent, but we knew we were going to, you know, t have to be able to take a punch at some point. And, uh, we took a lot of them early, uh, but uh, I'm proud of, certainly proud of, of how they responded all throughout the middle of the year to get to this point. But yeah, we think we recognized that there was the potential here and, um, you know, that's kind of how we measure success is, did you reach your potential as a player? Did you, you know, did you, did you reach your potential as a team? Did it reach its potential? Um, so it certainly feels like things are, things are firing on all cylinders right now, but it was a struggle to get there. Uh, for sure. And what was the second part, David? Just what was going through your mind when you saw that last out? Oh, that's that's uh, that's Christmas morning. You know, that's um, that's as a parent. You know, I, I coach with a dad lens on. I can't help it. You know, so I uh, I, I see it as you know, like my own kids, and, and that's what you chase as a coach. You chase those celebratory moments. You see those smiles, those grins ear to ear, and you know, that's like I've got kids that are 13, 10, and 8 that still get fired up to. You know, tear open the presents uh, on Christmas morning, and that's just kind of the the look that you want to see, the, the look on their faces, and you know, that's what this is all about for me. Take three more, and I know who you are. Right here. Uh, Molly Taylor, College Baseball Central. This one's for you, Kate. I know uh, you touched on it a little bit, um, but and obviously there's there's bigger goals to come. But uh, can you express exactly what winning this ACC championship means to you? Uh, I mean, I think it means everything. It means everything to us. It means everything to Clemson. It's, I mean, Clemson's a championship school, and that trophy is where it belongs now. But I mean, we worked really hard for it from day one in the fall to now. And I mean, it, it's awesome. But I think we're gonna enjoy it while we can. But we're gonna flip the switch like that. Get focused on next week, and uh, you know, get to work. Thank you. Beth Poole from Fox Carolina. Eric, you talked about coaching from a dad lens, and it's about wins and losses, but it's about people as well. This group, these kids, these kids that were here when you got here, um, can you just speak to what this means to be able to come in here? There's a lot of kids that would see a new head coach, and that sometimes means turmoil. It means a tough road ahead, and you guys were able to persevere. Just what you mean, what they mean to you. Yeah, tra transitions are, are never easy. Um, and, you know, coaches sometimes take the, the wrong stance of, you know, getting their own guys in there and, and players take the wrong stance of saying they didn't sign up for this and neither the coaches nor the players did that with this group. And it was more of a, an embracing of this is our team and we're going to make everybody, you know, help everybody get better and make the team better and, and contribute to this program's history in the best way that we possibly can and, and everybody bought into just let's add as much value to an already storied program let's be contributors in this athletic department which is such a powerhouse and uh, let's you know let's let's make page 126 in the Clemson baseball history book one that's going to be bookmarked and uh, that was what we talked about in meeting number one and, you know whatever happens from here on out it will be regardless of what happens when you know. Last question. Uh, DJ Cadden, Club Center Center. Coach, that's four, you hit on a little bit, but that's four ACC championships in this department this year. Can you just talk about how special it is to be a part of that department and the Clemson community? Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's the best of the best. And uh, Graham Nath and his team have assembled some unbelievable coaches. And, it's, you know, it all starts with, with Dabo and his staff and just the bar that they set. Uh, national championships is, is 
you know, I was here 21 years ago, and I just, uh, I, coming back, just am blown away and amazed to see how much the school, the buildings, the town, the athletic facilities, everything has exploded because of the football success. And it just, it kind of all is connected to the entire athletic department. It raises that bar and everybody wants to hoist the, the, the big trophy um, at the end of the season. And, you know, to, to be able to do that twice like the football team has done, I think just, you know, it's, it's something that we all strive to do as coaches and um, you know, to be a part of it, an athletic powerhouse as a, as a college coach. That's just what you want. You want to be a part of excellence. Congratulations.